threats on behalf of Templar Joriel. While she wishes to extend you aid, she's stymied by protocol. What she gave you was an official response. I'm here to give you another response. A personal one. What do you want? I am not in the habit of making conversation with strangers, especially one of your stature. Please be quick. I see. Think very, very carefully about what you are saying. Octien is a Templar. He is in a position of the highest authority. And who, may I ask, are you? For you to accuse Octien without having a direct confession is not only me but contrary to all our procedures. Even if this were true, or even already suspected, it would have to be corroborated by Octian himself. That requires a confession. As he is not here to present the charges himself, I must assume that no such confession exists. Now, I have done all I can for you. Please, Trouble me no further with this matter, especially with such insufficient evidence. We have already discussed this. Nothing short of a confession would convict him. As such, Templar Octien will remain undisturbed in the Lavrarium. My superior has suspected for some time the crimes that you've levied against Templar Octien. But like you, she is frustrated by his status. Allow me to be direct. If you can make Templar Octien publicly acknowledge his crimes, then Templar Joriel will reward you. She will be your patron of sorts. You wish to bring the Templar to justice, yes? Then you must get him to publicly acknowledge his crimes in some form. As my superior no doubt told you, the Templar may be found in the Livrarium. I suggest you go there. Fancy chat? When I sent Ordern to recruit subjects, I didn't think I'd find one quite as tall as yourself. But he has done well. In fact, I'd say you make the perfect test case for my newest work. In so many words, yes, I'm developing a potion vital for future diplomacy. One that will let the user understand foreign tongues. But it requires calibration. Currently, the potion grants universal understanding, but it will not properly permit speech. 
I will administer a new formula. The spells in my lab shall localize the effects so I can ask a few questions of you in various tongues. Yes. Now I will just administer the potion and we can begin. Yes. If you can understand what I am saying, please tell me my name. Very well. I shall ask another question. Tell me, where can I find the Court of Summer? I see. Here's my final question. There is an army of Fae named the Tuatha. Tell me, where are they from? was less successful than I would have liked, but the data will be useful to me nonetheless. I'm happy to have had your help with this. Take these potions as a reward, with my thanks. Yes? You, you're alive. What an unexpected and quite unfortunate turn of events. Did it? Here you stand, suspecting me of a great many crimes, yet unable to lift a finger. Tell me, who has the power? Or what? You'll slaughter me in a murderous rage? Typical. Your kind is as predictable as it is stupid. I'm afraid you'll find me quite hard to kill. Unfortunately, I cannot say the same for you. Attack me in this city, and I won't just have you clapped in irons. No, I'll hand you over to the scholars in the Basilica for research. The wise and the foolish both die. Is that justice? With the will of souls, I can change that. I can choose who deserves life. To think that yous gave away such a gift to you. Well, we've seen how you wasted your life. Perhaps I'll give in 
Trini on your corpse to examine. After all, you met your first death as his assistant. It would be a reunion. Of course. And it's such a pity you'll never find out.
Well, if setting fire to the Livrarium and hiring assassins is not an admission of guilt on Octien's part, I certainly don't know what is. It is clear that we Templars must make him assume responsibility for his actions, overt as well as hidden. Even though you went against my explicit instruction, you were effective. You have my respect. Should he survive the wounds earned in battle? I should think so. To that effect, I have ordered a moratorium on all of his current studies and projects. Or, perhaps, save this mysterious well of souls. That one will take some deliberation, considering its various ethical and societal ramifications. Regardless, gnome society is in your debt, and we always pay what is owed. Ventrinio Desolini, one name I never expected to be brought into this business. It seems he has escaped the gallows yet again. I believe your friend Scholar Hughes may be able to help. While you were here, my people found him salvaging the tomes Octien attempted to burn. Now you must excuse me. A Templar has fallen from power, and Odessa's political buzzards are circling. You wish to speak? What? It was my mistake to assume that Octien would go quietly, or that he would leave evidence behind. Such a waste. Some of those books he burned were centuries old, but luckily for us, I was able to salvage some from the flames. Oh, a great many prizes. Treatises on the nature of death, tables upon tables of autopsy analyses, but only one item of true value, Octien's diary. Based off of what I've read in these pages, Ventrinia has been working on an island off of Cluricon. I'm afraid the dark wood of Cluricon still hides our Tawatha enemies, but this young lady, Aileen Shear, says she has a solution for that. When you reach Ventrinia, beware. He is certainly a genius, but... Complicated. He may try killing you the second time for good measure. His mind may be dangerous, but it holds the secret to entering Alabastra, and you must find it. Oh, I will. In fact, I believe I'll be staying in Odessa to offer what support I can. With Octian out of the way, the people will be needing a new Templar after all. You carry a grave responsibility now, my friend. You wish to speak? I would read very well. Are you... you have come! The new guest of Sandstone Villa. Thank the gods you've arrived. I'm Kordan Passant, a scrivener of the Domus. And I have need of your help to solve a rather delicate situation. I was asked to write a letter of, uh, contingency. Should things for the Alpha turn dire, it would establish a known peace between Edessa and the Tuatha armies. It was never meant to be sent, only prepared, but was accidentally taken by the courier. It must be recovered. You need to find the courier. It was a traveler by the name of Parwan Well. She said she was making her way to the Thir, but she might have stopped in the traveler's camp on Apotir. 
Sun Camp is the name, I believe. Fair enough. Please tell me you've made some discovery about the litter. It must be recovered before too long. It was sent to Rathir via courier. A traveller. Fair enough. Yes? Once again, it is a pleasure. To see you. Are you enjoying your... Just as well. Greetings. Just give me a straight answer. Is the general still in the crate? Thank you for coming all this way. I don't know if you heard that, but it sounds as if General Talera is still here in exile. For all but losing the fortress of Melsenshire. Long ago, Talera led our forces, but then the Tuatha produced a foe she could not best. Her forces barely survived the retreat out of Clurakan. Many blamed her for the loss, to have built up hopes so high, only to have them topple. That was Talera's crime, and she has paid for it, day after day. You're as quick as ever. Talera is in the cradle of summer, banished from the battlefields of Melsenshir, until she can atone for her past. According to the fate weaver here, she seeks an artifact from Ural Tusk that might break the siege and aid our forces. But she cannot do so alone, for poor Talera is fated never to succeed. That is where you can help. You should be just what the general's looking for. You resemble someone of authority. Two rogues, likely freemen, have stolen a precious item from me. Pay attention! And to think my taxes pay your salary. There were two of them, swarthy brutes, hairy, filthy, a shudder at the thought. The beasts ransacked my antiquities collection and stole several notable items. I am a gentleman, and if you can recover my amulet, I will make it worth your time and effort. I glimpsed them leaving through the back window as they made for the wood. Excellent. I will stay here, secure, and wait for your return. Oh well, stranger. Isn't it a glorious day? As if Helios himself warms us with a smile. What do I owe this courtesy? I only have a few moments to spare. The god storm awaits my return, and it doesn't like to wait. Why, the god storm is the greatest event that our fragile world has ever witnessed. It was a battle, a conflict between Fey. They call it the Withering War. That's why I relocated to 
the Emir to complete my book, the definitive work on the subject. The village is nice enough, quiet, although the new arrivals give me no peace. Sadly, I lack the last few resources needed to tell the full story. The works of the famous scribes Ewald, Dalston, Callas, and Wildfro. Wisdom be yours. Need a hand? of Ashara. Around them, they heard the song of splendor of a once and future summer. And they responded. And the earth moved. The carver shaped, the architect built. the veil the firstborn were torn asunder with the cry that still lingers in the heart of every god with the first winter her music to the countryside of marbled ruin. The plains birthed the gentle grass. Listless streams meandered through the verdant hill.
Looked these open plains, nestled where mire and rocky deserts cease, where the hungry forest, the languid sky. This work, shaped by the delicate artistry of an inspired painter. Hail, I am General Talera Ap Gwydion, former commander of the Eastern Alpha forces. Surely you're not the aid Aelin Shear promised. She spoke as if she planned to send a whole squad of soldiers, not one faceless mercenary. So, she is behind this. That woman. One too many times she's meddled in my affairs, making promises she never intends to keep. Well, perhaps it is for the best. The fewer people involved in my affairs, the better. You see, misfortune follows closely at my heels. It is the lot fate has cast for me. The years have been long since I first learned of the means that might deliver Mel Senshir from the Tuatha. It lies in Earl Tusk, beyond a gate fated never to be opened, in a hall awash with Miskaru. Any who seek access to the ruin must face them. For all my years of research, I've only ever found one clue to this puzzle, when the great voices rise in song. It may refer to the windstones scattered across the plains. They bear a striking resemblance to the stones of this ruin. But that's simply me grasping at answers. Take this chime. It is said to have been taken from the ruin during its construction many centuries ago. I've tried using it on the windstones with no luck. The windstones are located all across the plains. Mindful of your actions.
Be careful around the general. I... I can't believe it. The gauge shifted? For all my efforts, you simply appear and make it respond. No. You've opened one part of the gate, but four more remain. You must find the wind stones scattered throughout the plains and activate them. I will remain here. The Nescaro will sense that the seal is weakened. Someone must try to hold them back. I'll stay here and fight any Nescaro looking to sneak past us. We're watching you.